Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Jordan Francis, and this is episode 10 of my cross-country fun hunt epic road trip. We're changing it up once again, leaving the big city behind and going to small town Manitoba. Once again, there's a choice to be made. There's two great destinations on the fun hunt map that I'd really love to check out. So Zach and his buddies in Riverton want to share with me their cool music. And also, they're planning on throwing a street party for me. <laughs> and I'm so down with that. And we play soccer, badminton, volleyball, you name it. On the flip side, we have Kayla and her sisters in Dauphin. And these girls are going to give me a crash course in outdoor life. I don't have time to go to both places. So I'm giving you the power. It's time for a vote. It looks like it's party time with Zach. Congrats, bud. And big shout out to Kayla for trying to bring me to the outdoors. But for this fun hunt adventure, it's time to go to Riverton. Let's go. Hello, Adventure Center. Hey, Zach, how's it going? It's Jordan Francis calling. Oh, it's going good, hi. Congratulations, um, you've won the cross country fun hunt day yeah. in the life. Thanks. What kind of what kind of things are you planning? Uh, well, we're gonna give you a tour of our town, and then we're gonna throw a street party for you. All right, awesome. Can't wait. I'm excited. All right, bye. Riverton is a small town in Manitoba on the shores of Lake Winnipeg, which is, by the way, the 11th largest freshwater lake in the world. The main work around town, probably as you guessed, is fishing. Aboriginal Canadians are the first people that live in the area that we call Canada today. And many of them still live around Riverton. Nice, welcome CBC Fun Hunt. As Soon as we arrived, we met up with Zach and his friends, hey Zach, and Zach gave me a tour of the place. Nice to meet you. Nice, you have some hoops here. <laughs> Sick. Hey, nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. What's poppin', how's it going? <laughs> oh, whoa, nice. We run a dance class if I wanted to. Yeah. We played basketball, pool, it was awesome. How much of your time during the week do you guys spend over here? Mostly all day. Yeah. I don't blame you, because I would too. This is awesome. Next up, we headed out, because Zach wanted to show me a couple cool things in this small town. The first thing I saw was this gigantic moose statue. This is really nice. This is the biggest moose in Manitoba. The intent was to have something that would depict the image of the area. So you climbed the moose before? Is it fun? It's scary. Now that he's climbed it, I want to climb it. <laughs> then we went to the shores of Lake Winnipeg, where the Friendship Center was holding a camp program, and they had the kids out there on the beach <laughs> making sand monsters and burying each other. She has a clown. Oh, really? It's her hair. <laughs> There's my hair in it. <laughs> Next, we headed back to the Friendship Center, and an elder showed us Aboriginal drumming. The drum is a heartbeat of our people. The elder said, if we ever stop beating this drum, that'll be the end of our culture. When one person sings, then everybody joins in after, but the same words, okay, like, way, way, ya, way, ya, way, ha. Okay, you guys. The chanting was great. It was really different for me. I wasn't really used to it. I had to get a, I had to kind of get used to drumming at the same time as singing in a different language, and um, it's pretty difficult. It looks easy, but it's pretty difficult. Oh wow! Good, good. I thought I was a singer, but you know these guys are on a whole different level. Music 
Frankly, I thought it was amazing. It really inspired me and showed me that there's so many different genres that people don't notice. It almost put me in a trance. Next thing was the Friendship Center held this big street barbecue. The kids were getting their faces painted. It was great how there was a lot of local performers that came out and performed with their guitars. Hey look, I've never seen somebody play that in real life. You guys have such great talent out here. You know, the people before me, you guys are amazing. And I even came up on the stage and showed them a couple tracks. Love Jordan. Oh, and then I have another one right here. Thank you guys for having me. I feel really welcomed out here in Riverton. And uh, yeah, this is definitely be a second home. I like it here. You're just knowing everybody. It's nice. Being close to the beach is nice. Yeah. People here are nice. Fun. Very nice. I, know, I just love Riverton and I love our heritage. And it's like how I grew up here. It's just grew into me. It's like a part of me now. Thank you so yeah. much for, yeah. for um, inviting me out here and uh, meeting everybody. Your community is great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was just an awesome day in Riverton, Manitoba. Once again, a big shout out to Zach for letting me come around and have a good time, perform some songs, interact with the kids. Very awesome. All right, guys, my time in the West is over, and it's time to hit up Central Canada, which means I'm going to my home region of Ontario. I'm so excited, and onwards. Once again, we couldn't cram all these fun scenes into one webisode, so you're gonna have to make sure to go on CBC in the fall and watch the Cross Country Fun Hunt TV show. All right, guys, as always, keep on checking back to the Fun Hunt website and telling your friends about it. And make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This is your boy, Jordan Francis, signing off. And I'll see y'all next time on the Cross Country Fun Hunt.